Hello friends, I am CA Pratish Burton and today let's talk about a topic which is happening next door in Sri Lanka that is Sri Lankan food crisis. Actually, it is not its food crisis but something much deeper that it is facing a severe economic crisis. Though we are not students in economics, it doesn't require one to be so as well to understand the basics of economics and it is very important to understand what is happening around the world and more so what is happening with our neighbors next door. If you check the news channels or newspapers, you will find that Sri Lanka has been facing a deep food crisis and a food emergency has been imposed. But the reality is something different. Let us see what actually has happened. There has been acute shortage of essential food items like rice, sugar, edible oil and many more and the government has blamed the hoarders for doing so. Because of which the prices of the essential items have skyrocketed and more importantly the Sri Lankan rupee has come down drastically from around 160 rupees to 230 rupees per dollar. The Sri Lankan media says there is absolutely no problem at all. It is only a food crisis that the country has been facing. But the reality is something different. So let us see what actually has led to this crisis. The main reason is that the tourism industry of Sri Lanka has been hit very badly by the coronavirus. Tourism industry is the biggest strength of the Sri Lankan economy and because of the virus there has been no influx of foreign tourists into Sri Lanka and that is why the economy has taken a very bad beating since 2020. The next important reason for this mess is that the foreign exchange reserves have dropped from 7.5 billion US dollars to 2.8 US billion dollars in just over a period of 1.5 years. Private banks have completely ran out of foreign exchange in order to source for its imports. Why foreign exchange is important? Because everything is paid in dollars. A similar situation even India had faced in the year 1991 when Chandrasekhar was the Prime Minister. So we had to pledge our gold in order to source our foreign exchange reserves. So the government has completely banned the import of foreign vehicles and also few other items so that there is no further depletion of the foreign exchange reserves. And the situation has gone so bad that one of the Sri Lankan ministers has said that they are going to introduce fuel rationing system just like we have the ration shops for rice and other essential items in India. The next reason is a self-made disaster. Sri Lanka's race to become completely organic. Definitely this is a welcome step to be completely organic but the problem here is that the government has taken this decision unilaterally and in such haste that it has completely banned chemical fertilizers and pesticides. And the outcome is that all the vegetables and the crops are infected with pests. And as we all know, Sri Lanka is famous for its fee, which is about 1.25 billion US dollar industry, producing around 300 million kgs of tea every year, becoming the global leader. Sri Lanka is also the global supplier of 85% of the world's cinnamon. The other spices like pepper and cardamom also are going to be affected and because of which this billion dollar industry is going to face a 50% drop in its production. So friends, these are the main reasons for Sri Lanka's economic crisis apart from its excessive borrowing from China to source its infrastructure projects. So what is the government doing? The government has taken variety of measures to control what actually is happening with its economy. One of them being it has increased its interest rates. If you keep an FD in Sri Lanka, you would get around 25 to 28 percent returns, whereas in India it's not even 5 to 6 percent. But do not forget the interest rates are high, but at the same time, the prices of the commodities are also very high. The logic behind hiking the interest rate is that the disposable income in the hands becomes less and people start saving more so that the economy slows down and the price rise or inflation decreases. So friends, thanks for watching. In case if you have liked this video, do like and comment and also subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more interesting videos on finance, economy and many more interesting topics.